for like for most for most teams when you clicking like that offensively you have a great confidence in each other to make shots and a lot of that translates to the defensive end so we just felt really well connected during that group and uh, that's that's how we knew we were gonna have to approach that game for sure. Was there anything extra though in that second half that cranked up defensively? That was that was pretty spectacular. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I, I mean, it was just we just realizing it's winning time, second half, in a, in a place like that. Uh, just knowing how how quickly they can get going offensively and how important stops are for us to, to in order to leave uh, leave that type of environment with a win. So we just knew the second half was you know we had to do everything we could to try to get out of there with a win. What effect do you feel like the switching had on maybe what they do and getting them out of their their usual offense? Uh, say one more time. What, what effect do you feel like the switching had on getting them maybe them out of what they usually do on the offensive end? Um, I just think it gives them, you know, just give them different looks. You know, they're they're a great explosive offensive team, so you got to throw everything that you can, mix things up, don't make them get too comfortable, and uh, you know, ultimately it boils down to us to, you know, just taking pride and trying to get stops too. So no matter what the scheme is, I think we just took a lot of pride in trying to get stops individually. Tyler's assist numbers up. He's obviously not trying to do too much. How, what's the balance of not trying to do too much and playing your game in a series like this? You're just letting the game come to him, and uh, a lot of that, you know, that's a lot of credit to him just trusting us to make, you know, make those uh, shots down the line and continue to just make the right play. And obviously, they're throwing a lot of different coverages at T. And uh, he's, he's been handling it really well in a short amount of time. You know, he just people forget he just got back not too long ago. So to come back playing like that and trusting, trusting each other and and get us going like he did is, is um, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty awesome to see. He wasn't a part of it last season. Yeah. To do it, knowing that he might have a first real shot Yeah. You can tell he's taking advantage of it. You can tell he's just glad to be out there and uh, and playing and at this time of year. And uh, obviously, you know, the way he's playing and, and just what he brings to our team, we you know, we're, we're super grateful he's able to be able to play at this time of year. And I'm excited to see what more he's going to do. Cool. Uh, obviously, um, just just come with the same approach. Obviously, you know it's got to be amplified. Uh, you know what's going coming at home, and also just knowing the mentality will come coming in uh, with the series being tied. And uh, you know, uh, we we just know how we respond uh, after a game like that. Just kind of how we did after game one, and we expect them to kind of respond the same way. So uh, just just be prepared. With that being said, and you always hear guys talking about playing in the mud. You know the rest of the series is going to be like that. Yeah. Now going into game three, how do you guys approach that? <clears throat> we're those type of players, you know, that's that's how we, you know, like our games, you know, they're not the prettiest, um, you know, but, you know, we'll take it how we get it. If it, Like Coach says all the time, we'll take about half a point if we can. And uh, those are typically the games that we like to get people in, and those are right up our alley. So, um, you know, we encourage those type of games. With Jimmy and Terry, obviously, how, um, how big, how, how important is the BAM Tyler actions and kind of playing off of how Boston plays those actions yeah. at the center of the offense? It's huge. Uh, like I said, you know, like just like Jimmy, those two of the other head of our snakes, uh, you know, and, you know, everything runs through those guys. And so as, as many times as we can put those guys in position to make the right decisions, uh, we're trusting that. We believe in that. Coaches believe in that. And uh, as you can see, they make, you know, majority of the time is that they're winning plays, winning decisions. So, um, you know, we go as they go. Caleb, the benefit to having Bam on, on Tatum is pretty obvious. But when you're, you have that look, then you're also switching Bam off of Tatum. What, what value did you guys get out of that in game two? It's defensive player of the year type stuff. You know what I mean? Like to be able to have a guy like that, to, to his caliber, his size, and his agility, to be able to to do that, to to, to switch up the coverages like that, and and it, you know, and it work on on one of the best offenses, offensive teams uh, in the league is is uh, really really important to us, and we thrive off that. So. Um, you know, obviously, like I said, they're going to come in with a different mentality to be even more aggressive. So, everything that we do, everything we you know did before, has to be exaggerated. And Caleb, you guys won in Boston, obviously, the last game. They're coming in here. They've had a lot of success on the road in the playoffs. What do you think the mentality is that's needed to be a successful road playoff team? Uh, I think just staying steady. I think a lot of it, you know, you just know what type of environment it's going to be. It's going to be a lot of runs and. Especially in that building, they you know the, the basket can get eight feet wide sometimes for them, and I think just staying steady, just knowing that you're, they're going to have those runs and knowing it's going to be explosive. So the more we just stay steady ment uh, mentally, we'll, we'll be well, good. Does anyone? I mean, like some guys, they love playing. Everyone loves playing at home, I'm sure. But do some guys feed off that kind of hostile environment? For sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, it, it goes both ways. Like just like you feed off your home crowd, you love. So one of the best feelings, you know, in the game is to go into another somebody else's place, especially a hostile environment, and get a, and, and leave with a win. So 
uh, and they're going to be trying to expect to do the same. So uh, we just know what you know what type of mentality they're going to come with, and uh, you know we'll just come prepared for that.